Okarun may not have his weenie. And I don't know if the balls are there. Like, like is the shaft just missing? Did the balls also got taken from Turbo Baba? But regardless, Okarun is still on business. He has this like new transformation scene when, you know, I say let's go of like the physical part of the curse. And oh my god, it is looking sick. But it's dangerous right now. It's dangerous because Okarun at any moment, if I say is knocked out, shit could go wrong. Also, there's some mysterious stuff going on with like the plot and differentiating aliens and the supernatural because you know the talisman is supposed to ward off against the supernatural right but the aliens they're the ones that they say they want the bananas now the bananas i i think that we need bananas it's all about the reproductive organ there seems to be a lot of similarities of the supernatural and the aliens and i think that the plot is going to explain us to more i think we need the grandma as well right now we need the grandma to show up and show me some of that cleavage that she showed in the trailer Let's begin today's reaction. She just got all three wrong. What is this? You remember Kaguya-sama? Uh, Miyuki's dad? <laughs> you know, Dio's voice actor is like working a side hustle of being like a fortune teller. <laughs> it's his grandma right now, right? It's the hairstyle. Is Grammy a fucking fortune teller for a scam? <laughs> oh, it's a TV show. Santa Dodoria. Baba, are you a fraud? Okay, nobody what? Nobody would be so pissed off at a local program. Okay, so this is like not a big deal. I hear that like in Japan, right? Even like Mob Psycho. I don't know if that's completely true, but there's a lot of like supernatural and esper TV reality shows that people really, really love. Santa Dodoria. What a name. Santa. He's an exorcist? Cleavage. Cleavage. Dude, this is crazy. The granny, like, she must have supernatural powers. If she didn't, how could she look like this at the ripe old age of, like, what? I'm gonna guess the number, like, 69. She's 69 years old in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we left off here. Granny should show up now and save. <laughs> granny versus Granny. <laughs> I think they censored this. Right? Like... Asi's panties were not really in frame for a while. I, I think they're trying to censor this shit. And then they look at her ass, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> Nail? Ooh. One shot. This is some Kugi Saki Nobara shit. Is she like using like a hammer? Like she was carrying some sort of like sword like thing in like that cover, right? I wonder if it's like a baseball bat maybe because I heard like a clang and the nail happened. Oh, it is a fucking bat. Dude, look at her. Her design is sick. What is she wearing underneath? Nothing. She just wears like this like police like cardigan thing and a jacket with the fucking cape her design is sick your skin is fantastic you know the meme there's like a chart basically it's like a chart of like asian women aging and from like the ages of like 20 to like 60 they're pretty much all the same and then one year passes and then they, they shrink and turn into like a baba right so i wonder if she's like right on the cusp. Like, she looks way too good to be a fucking granny, but Asian jeans, sure. Here we go. <laughs> it's granny versus granny clash. Who would win? Our granny or turbo granny? What? You're even faster. You showed up behind, but you ported. How the... But there's a nail and like a circle on the ground. It's like movement skills. She's too good. Look at that. It's stuck in there. That's a pencil? Dude, this is a pencil? Bro, I... I... 
this is some boomer shit. I'm sure you guys don't fucking sharpen pencils anymore. But back in the day, my Asian dad would fucking sharpen a pencil using a knife. That's some raw shit where you use a box cutter and rather you like ch 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 that's what this pencil looks like. The pencil that gets cut through a fucking knife, that's that style. So it's a <laughs> the baseball bat is not just a base, it's a pencil baseball bat. <laughs> Ording nail. If you drive it outside the area, the area outside of the circle becomes a barrier. All right, hold up, hold up. I'm, I'm, my brain is not working right now. I'm in the last reaction of my long stream. Hold up. If you drive it outside the circle, the area outside of the circle becomes a barrier. If it's inside, the inside is the barrier because it's outside. It cannot go out anymore. It's confined inside. Okay. <laughs> What's you gonna do, baby? <laughs> she ain't got a weenie, though. <laughs> and, like, even if there's a barrier outside, we can go through with our weapon, but the, the Turbo Baba cannot leave. <laughs> Because, like, every time it gets knocked out, it literally will start burning up, right? So, like, you're fucked. You take some damage and you get knocked away. You get burned. Like, this is just like a death cage. Pencil. Dude, that's Luffy, man. <laughs> Did an old hag just call another old hag a scummy old hag? Yes, old hag exception, baba exception. Baba no baba no kso baba no baba. Okay. Grandma doesn't care. <laughs> Granny would kill all cut and yell. Don't care. <laughs> Double circle. <laughs> Some sort of detonation? Two lines this time, but the nail is in between the two lines, and then she wipes off the inner circle, and now, boom, done. <laughs> because the barrier is inside now, right? Because a nail right now is in this outer layer, but if she wipes out the inner layer, now inside is the barrier, and now you're fucked up. She literally toyed with that thing. Because it was outside before, it can't get out. So we're knocking it around. This time, it's just like everything inside is the danger zone. Now you're fucked up. Pretty simple mechanics, but like, damn. <laughs> Her room is so funny. The pink leopard, bro. Oh, this is the trailer scene. This is the trailer scene. Dude, it's not just her ass over here, but what the hell is this? How is that possible? Yo, imagine what the mom is like. Bro, if the granny's like this, if Ayas is like that, imagine what the mom is like. Also, does that mean Okaran's dead? Wait. I was too caught up in the barrier mechanics. Okaran? Granny said, nah, I'd kill. <laughs> Okaran alone. <laughs> Long story, Bubba. You gotta watch episode one and two. <laughs> oh, he's a baba. Not really, you couldn't tell. Fake my ass. You're a real deal. Yeah, but it's like because ISA like denied her back in the day, right? So I guess she's still clinging on to that grudge just a little bit. It's like that story about, you know, pointing upwards and thinking like you're cringe for doing that at school. One second, one second. Technical difficulty. Three, two, one, we good. Oh yeah, we have powers now. I say, show her the supernatural powers. Man, 
I think that IS is a pretty prideful person, and for someone like that to like get down on all knees, Dogaza, that's that's pretty huge for Okarun. That's how much he cares about him. Sobaba! So baba. Yeah. Pretty much. This is so fucked up. Ayase also had to go through the same thing. But instead, she almost got graped, but got like, she became mob psycho. Oh god, he got his weenie stolen. Now there's a turbo baba trying to like come out of it. Oh, hey, you're good. Yo, you're even eating. Ayase doesn't want him to see. My headcanon is Ayase is so relieved that she, she's crying. And she doesn't want him to see her crying. Maybe not. I still think she cares. Yo. Like a safe spot. Okay. <laughs> Granny was teasing. You know what? It took us a weenie. Like, like, but is it just the dick or the balls? I'm gonna assume it's just a shaft. So it's just funny to think about how Okun right now just has balls and no shaft. How does he pee? How does that work right now? I have no clue. That's right. Behold. UFO oh, but they do. UAP. Okay. I love how Ayase is totally on our side now. Because, like, the first episode was like, yeah, I believe in supernatural shit so easily. But it's like, UFO? Nah, they can't exist. Turbo Baba. <laughs> yeah, that's the name I remember from Mob Psycho, I think. 100 kilo granny? I forget, but there was like a similar, like, uh, like a folklore of like a scary granny in the tunnels and she's just fucking running like this, but that Turbo Baba didn't like run, like go for us. Yeah. Fucking Usain Bolt Baba. Mach 20 Baba. Dude, her cape is so cool. The location bounce. They never leave. It's like super advantage for the spirits. Dude, that's actually so sick. Now, smoking is bad, kid. You should not smoke cigarettes, alright? Just because Granny's doing it. But see how it's like dark in the tunnel? And every time she takes a puff, as light goes up, and then dark, and then boom, and then it's, it's like cinematography, right? It's so cool. Turbo Granny and the... Oh, I was thinking they're the same thing. Okay, they fused together, okay? So it's even a bigger monster than we thought. <laughs> I won't fight it. You fight it. <laughs> I ain't not here to do shit. You're the fucking exorcist. Go exercise it, Baba. I'll watch you. I'll cheer you on from the sideline. What would Ken do? Alright. Based. <laughs> I guess Baba already figured out his name is Ken. <laughs> Dude, it's so crazy how even in these like moments where there's not much action happening, everything is moving. The animation quality is so good that ugh, just again, you compare this shit to like Blue Log, Power of God, some of the other shitty fucking, you know. Fantasy shows, right? The healer show, like it, like things are moving. I'm like, Ugh. and the saddest part, we have been fed so much garbage that like things simply moving is good for us. We're glazing this shit, right? That's how cucked we're. That that's how much garbage we've been fed. That like simply things moving is like peak, peak. <laughs> Tag? Taunted to a tag match. 
Location bound spirits territory is all of Shono City. Oh, it's not just a tunnel. Get it out of the territory. Got it. Within the territory, super strong. Fly. A barrier. Why not? <laughs> Towers reach and lock. Are you serious? Because we borrow the powers of the gods that live on this. Is there any other gods that live on the other land? What the fuck? We're literally region locked. Wah, wah. Fraud. Yeah. Can we borrow those gods' powers? <laughs> Physically trained. Wait, wait. You're actually we we the Baba that can run like a hundred kilometers per hour. You you think I have to be physically training right now? How many years is it gonna fucking take? What do you mean? There's no way. He can train. He was eavesdropping the entire time. Look. Okay. In his form, we can like suppress his curse, and then he can like turn transform. Yeah, how much? She probably we <laughs> She definitely weighs more than Okarun, bro. Okarun is like 50 pounds fucking soaking wet. Alright, training arc. We're doing the one punch man training. Okay. I hate that we can't rely on Baba because it's away game. But if it's home territory, you know, Baba is too strong, right? We can't rely on her to just solve everything. So, like, her time will come to bail us out if we're in home territory also. Her hair still is fucking crazy. What is that hairstyle, man? She looking like fucking Marge Simpson. Yes, ma'am. She is. I wonder if she uses, like, her supernatural powers and sh Well, she... I don't know, she doesn't have mob psycho powers. She's borrowing the powers of the gods and the berries and shit. I wonder if the powers of the gods is keeping her so, like... Fertile is not the word I'm looking for. Youthful. <laughs> I don't know why I thought about fertile. <laughs> Youthful. If she steps outside, I wonder if she, like, turns into a hag completely. That'd be kind of interesting. Ayase-san, Okay. It's not even your fault, bro. You can't control that shit. Yeah, she was sick. Okarun! Stand proud! Oh, Okarun is such a fucking softy, bro. It's just killing me. Oh, man. There we go, we're bantering. We're bantering. What the fuck? He's bipolar as fuck. Please. I hope you'll be friends with me. You fucking bitch, why'd you fucking stop that? Okay, please. What the hell? You're dense too. You're both dense. You're both stupid. I love him though. What? Thank you? Okay. <laughs> Why did he make that shit so fucking dramatic? I thought he said- I thought he was gonna finally bring up that I gotta go take a pee, but I don't know how to because I don't have a dick anymore. The idol. <laughs> I bet he actually likes curry. Granny fortune telling powers in the beginning, remember? She called it all out, but he's like, no, 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 I don't have it. No, he had it all. Baba fucking knew she's legit. 27, and he loves curry, and he loves curry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Ew, <laughs> Grandma, this is basically Coco Lemon, bro. 
Coco Melon for Granny. Gr Granny is just basically having keys jingle in front. She's like, <laughs> my favorite show, my favorite show. And the laugh is very unique too. Oh man. That's my shit. The laugh is crazy though. But he has no dick. I, I want to see. Aren't, aren't you, aren't you like, like amazed either? Like, how is he going to pee? I, I need to see this. Baba. Damn, bro. Granny outfit. I see outfit, bro. They fucking wildin'. Granny? Is she wearing a fucking... She can't see anything. I wonder if that's just fake though and she can actually has like eye holes here. Just like fashion. <laughs> he sounds like a monkey. Aura. <laughs> See, he straight up sounds like a monkey. Different color auras. This is kind of how supernatural works. Says you and your geolocation locked. Hmm. So, like, the powers that here before, what did she say again? When I and everything I imagined turned into reality, like I was invincible. Yeah, like on the alien ship, right? When she was basically trying to like whatever they were trying to do, they basically unlocked her like chakras, magic, supernatural powers, and like her imagination, reality was bending towards. But she can't do that shit anymore. She's limited to just aura stuff. But even then, last episode versus the sumo that was already so powerful alone. I wonder if she can get into this state again. She probably can, right? I, I doubt that this is like a one-time thing. Hopefully she can return back to this when she's like in the zone, yeah. Right. Can Granny unlock it? Is that why she's wearing a blindfold? This is pretty scientific. Like, instead of relying on tactile responses, just feel it. And if you can feel it, then maybe you can use your Esper abilities to the next level. Okay. No, no, she can feel it more? What's she holding? It's not working, it's not working. <laughs> Even Granny had to fucking peek there for a second, bro. Granny is so sick, though. She, like, her style. Like, even the way that she has one arm into her band, and like this band here, it's like uh, what Rorunwa Zoro uh, wears. Like, Zoro, that, that, this is some boomer clothing, by the way. It's like old, ancient, like Japanese clothing, some samurai shit, anyway, granny wearing that shit. But like, her style, overall vibe I get from her, it's so sick. Yeah, Haramaki, that's what it's called, right? <laughs> Barrier. No. Okay. <laughs> you fucking better not take a shit in my own toilet. So like, okay, I also can do this too. She can literally like use her invisible hands. Let me in on this. What was that? She mentions the fucking name and I say nuts. Dude, the granny titty jiggling animation while running is fucking crazy. Are they watching him? They're watching him. This is kind of emasculating, huh? Pretty embarrassing, huh? Yeah. The brain, the brain is limiting us. Yeah. Holy shit, we lose focus for one second and this is what happens? Contagious. 
What the fuck? Anyone he see can curse to that? You'll put a blindfold on him? Not enough time. We don't have time. <laughs> and we're back. Baba's good. The war. What does that mean when it's been stained by red that much? That means like it's basically saying fuck your barrier. I can get rid of that shit too. Turbo Baba is so powerful. Bulletproof vest. <laughs> it looks like these two are getting fucking married, bro. I don't know. It looks like some kind of like ceremony, wedding ceremony for like exorcists and shit. And like we put like a tal put like a talisman on his face so he can't see shit anymore. Alright, new drip. Got armor. I wonder if her glasses does the same shit. The same animation happened for Okarun. Interesting, her glasses are kind of weird, just already cut off. But like, you know how Okarun, it break and she's like, <laughs> and then it's just like perfectly fucking normal. It'd be funny if Granny's glasses also does that. Baba's hair here, the ponytail is nice. Oh, be careful. That's more worrisome than wholesome, bro. Baba would never tell us this unless this is actually that dangerous. It's actually that fucking dangerous, man. Oh, man. Good luck. These kids. <laughs> He's fucking taking a picture of us. They probably think that we're cosplaying, bro. Leave us alone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't look, don't look, don't look. For Granny, that's right. Let's go, Asse. It's the cat again. Bro, when is this cat gonna show up? I heard the cat actually showed up in episode one, but I just didn't notice. But this cat. Bro, the senti- Oh, wait, wait, we're not done yet. We got some post credit scene, but when's the cat gonna show up, okay? Okay, okay, post credit scene, let's go. Is it really okay for you to see everyone here that you can get cursed? But I guess the assumption is that we're gonna beat Turbo Baba, so it doesn't matter if Okarun sees everyone here. Bruh, ads again, what's going on? Are you new to Twitch? You must be completely new to Twitch. You are a free to play. Why am I even talking to you right now? You have ads. You can't even hear me. What am I fucking doing? <laughs> I'm just gonna time you out for a fucking day because you're being annoying, but hopefully you'll understand that because you can't even hear me right now. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it. I mean, she is a gal. The fashion statement. I mean, the granny. The granny drip is also fucking popping, but damn. But the bulletproof vest. <laughs> Are we gonna regret this? Granny said it's a bulletproof vest. But then again, like the sumo guy we fought at last episode, like we had like a protective layer of like, I don't know, psychic powers to armor us. So maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe, maybe we don't need the, you know, bulletproof vest because her psychic powers is enough. <laughs> is it? Kind of scary. And that's today's episode of Dan 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 Dan. Oh and oh my God, the granny is so sick. The granny was hyped up in the trailers, and she is that cool. I thought that she was a fraud for a bit in the supernatural reality TV show, but actually, she called out all the truth, and the guy was fucking lying. Not only that, she borrows like the powers of like a god, right? So it's like a region locked. There's different gods in different places. And the god that we're borrowing the powers from allows us to create these barriers. And it's pretty simple, right? It's all about the nail position. Is it outside? Is it within the circle? If it's within, it's pretty much everything inside is fucked up. And then, you know, you get defeated like that. So Granny, very powerful. But right now, because Turbo Baba is so far away, Granny can't bail us out. And then obviously we don't want Granny to just bail us out every time. It kind of defeats the purpose. Their drip, Granny, I say, bro. They are so stylish. And right now, 
basically Turbo Bubba is stronger than we expected, right? There's like this fusion mechanic going on with Turbo Bubba and someone that used to be region locked there before. Basically, anyone who cut on Siege right now can get cursed and they can literally, you can choose how to die, a heart attack or a stroke, what the hell? But Ayase, her powers, full powers is not unlocked yet. It was possible when the aliens were trying to do some creepy shit and they tampered with their brain. But right now, we can't get to that state without further training. And we have to do this fucking tonight. Turbo Baba said, like, show up tonight or everyone's gonna fucking die. It's kind of worrisome that I say took her clothes off and, you know, took her bulletproof vest off. Maybe it's gonna be bad for us, but uh, she has her, you know, psychic power. So maybe something's gonna be okay. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time. Take care.